Kaiser Franz Joseph's wife, Sissi, was the daughter of Duchess Ludovica. So why not a little paddle steamer named Ludovica sailing on one of the beautiful Bavarian lakes? I'm sure she would have been delighted. These open portholes bring air to the burner. Not much will flow down from here, and tricky to fire up too. To improve it, I will open up the deck and bulkhead right here. The companionway entry will then be removable. Now it can be easily lit up. These punched out portholes are interestingly all exactly one inch apart. They will all remain open just as they are. Except for the first one ahead of the windlass. That's where the chain locker is. So I will fill it in.
No tiller needed with antique steamboat toys. Back then, boys, usually wearing sailor suits, skillfully hand adjusted the rudder before setting the boat off, hoping it would circle around the pond and come right back to them. The most important thing on a passenger steamboat seats, of course. A few simple benches will be perfect. It's for the windlass I made. Still a few more things to do, then painting, and we should be done. Before giving the boat back to its owner, I'll just make sure nothing's binding anywhere. And why not some real testing? She's going nowhere. I'm afraid all the weight I added to the boat, the deeper dip of the puddles, just got too much for that feeble steam output. And while trying to get a stronger flame, I only managed to burn the paint off. To make more steam, a torch burner firing directly inside the boiler would be a lot safer. So I'm gonna leave it there, sand off the burnt paint, touch everything up and see what the collector wants to do about that. Maybe part 3 coming soon, with the boat proudly paddling along? Let's hope so.